Hello, folks. Welcome to Business Basics. We've been looking this week at 25 tips for taking on the mindset of a business owner. And today, my co-host, Andy Hemming, has got five tips around building strong systems and processes. It's great to see you, Andy. Thanks for joining. Hi, Mark. So let's get straight to it. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, the systems run the business and the people run the systems. So if you don't have great systems in your business, you don't have a business. First thing to do is really get to grips with what are the key processes in your business that need to be documented and document them. Um, that creates a common platform for people to uh, to work from. So, you know, define performance standards, essentially. I think once you've documented those systems, what that gives you the opportunity to do is have a homogenized conversation around what's actually going on. Because up until that point, what you probably find is there's lots and lots of different perspectives about the same thing. So bringing that all together gives you the opportunity to really look at those processes and critique them harshly and usually what that allows you to do is build in more efficiencies and quite often create competitive advantage which is the whole point of doing this isn't it once those systems are documented you're now able to actually delegate in the absence of a system you can't delegate you're abdicating so building the systems allows you to delegate and therefore empower your team and as a result of that then they can start to become truly accountable for the results in your business because they understand what they're meant to be doing how they're meant to be doing it and they can measure their results we make their own results objective so absolutely imperative that we do that those systems should come with checks especially at the point at which responsibility passes between team members as as stuff moves through the organization so there's little quality measures that we build in and quite often those come with a kpi so we can see that we're maintaining consistent systematic quality because that's what customers like isn't it and then really that whole feedback loop if you like of a system that we can have a common conversation about that with is is systematically measured to show its output allows us to revisit that process to create better quality results and continue to evolve it which will keep us ahead of the game so really important. five fantastic tips thank you so much folks if you want to find out more then download the guide 25 tips for taking on the mindset of a business owner just follow the link in this post and we can't wait to hear from you until next time bye for now